Lost the stream. Joyce lifts the ball to cover and another drop catch at the extra cover by Rooney. Uh, very, very disappointing. That's the third catch gone down for the innings and given Merrion yet another life. Another drop there from Skipper Rooney. De Freitas comes in again and bowls. Launched through the extra cover region. Can Rooney make it? And it's Campbell Davis Webb you know, there, unable to prevent the ball going 4 4. Certainly, Marion now looking to increase the run rate and really put bat to ball. With only four overs remaining, they'll certainly be going very hard to Freitas. In again, down on the leg side, pushed out to mid wicket for a single. Another single to Hitchcock was on two, and Joyce on four. Freitas into ball short, an edge past the keeper that's running away for a boundary and four runs. If there'd been a slip in, it would have been out. But of course, in T20 at this stage, you're looking to prevent the boundaries and very unlucky there to the bowler, De Freitas, who's been bowling exceptionally well in his spell here. Marion now 110 for five. Freitas into bowl, slower delivery, deceives the batsman there and a dot ball bring in the end of the 17th over. Marion 110 for five, Joyce eight not out and Hitchcock 11 not out. Replacing Farouk Nazir is Abdul Sattar, who returns to the attack. One for 14 off his two overs so far. So Sitar into James Hitchcock. Balls Hitchcock down, drives it through mid on. Think it'll just be a single. Joyce looking for two, but wisely thinking better of it. That takes Marion 111 for five. The old Nelson, maybe that can do its trick here for Balbriggan. Sitar into Joyce, bowls, slower ball, full toss, slightly deceived Joyce, but he's managed to get it away on the leg side for a boundary through square leg. Balbriggan again will be disappointed there, slight bit of confusion between the two boundary riders and the ball slipping between the both of them. Sitar bowls full length, driven down the ground powerfully, but only a single as De Freitas picks up the ball at deep mid on. De Freitas into Hitchcock, short picked up as he mishit it. He has, but there's no fielder there in the short in a ring, just a single. The 
Fraser seemed to hit shot. Slow ball, picked on the leg side, aerial, but misses the fielders and collected on the boundary there for just a single. Getting a lot of compliments, Roger, online for your commentating skills. Let me see. Yeah. I think he's a hidden uh, commentator, guys. Debut, new boy at this. Sitar in again to Hitchcock, who drives it powerfully on the offside. But there's a mix up here. Ball's thrown to the bowler's end, but didn't get the ball in quick enough. No run. And that completes the 18th over with Mary on 118 for five. Two overs to go now. How many can Marion uh, now get? Possibly they'll be looking at 140, 145 with a good couple of overs. Balverigan looking to try and restrict Marion to 130. I think, Roger, first game of the season, we probably would have been happy to keep it under yeah, 150. So yeah. as it is now, keeping it around 135 to 140, we take that. So hopefully a good two overs to finish from Bob Regan. Yeah, a couple of drop catches there and a few misfields. Yeah, uh, could provide. Cart Carty's innings was really the difference. It was, it was taking a couple of overs towards Marion's, towards Marion's side where Bob Regan have clawed it back through seven or eight of the overs now that have been really good. The Freitas bowled really well in his debut. We have Campbell Davis Webb back into the action. Super young guy who's just moved over to Balbriggan from South Africa. He's going to start studying in DCU. And we're delighted to have him on board. He's also linking up at Balbriggan Rugby Club. So a lovely... Uh, Shorts in the air. Could it be caught? And that's a great, great catch, catch in the cover boundary Defratis, by Defratis, who's having a storming debut here. That is the dangerous Hitchcock gone now. And that maybe could be the breakthrough that Balbriggan needed. I think, Roger, you can see the difference. The fielding, the guys, especially the, the couple of new guys into the club, the fielding has been excellent. A couple of drop catches, maybe from our own guys that were, had been here previously. So I think a little bit of work in the field is, is needed. But all in all, we're, we take the position we're in now, Roger, against strong Marion side. It's always going to be a very uh, difficult challenge to play Marion, very experienced side. And Balbriggan with some new players and some very youthful players who will be here for many, many years to come. And I think this is a great start uh, for the club to have the basis of a core, a first team. I know from attending the Nets, uh, there's a huge amount of uh, youth players coming through the ranks of the lower teams at only 12, 13, 14 years of age. And with the introduction of head coach Andre Botha, uh, that's certainly going to help in their development. And I think Balbriggan, you've got to take their hats off to them to what they've done with their youth policy. Perhaps a few years behind uh, the success of YMCA, but everybody in Cricket Leinster will see uh, the benefits of this youth policy that YMCA have gathered. And I think this is a start now for Balbriggan. And I think in the next couple of years, they really are going to be a force to be reckoned with. Tom Stanton uh, now comes into the recruit. Skip, skipper of the Marion side. Plays it back uh, there to Davis Webb. Another dot ball. 119 for six of 18.2. Ten balls to go. This could go anywhere. A couple of big blows could change it, but a couple of dot balls and tight overs, then Balbriggan will be very happy with this total that they will have to chase. Davis Webb comes in to bowl out of the back of the hand and just beats the batsman outside the off stump. Well taken again by Fletcher. Another great delivery and a dot ball in what is the death overs here. Nine balls to go. Can Balbrig and keep it tight? Yeah, I think you can, you're can. you seeing the benefit now. I know there's been a couple of drop catches, Rog, but a lot more organised on the field with Andre Bolter behind the, behind the scenes. The lads are looking good. The ground feeling's been excellent. Tipped through mid-wicket to backwards square. Yeah, certainly there's some strong uh, disciplines and Balbrig are going all the way in the 20 overs. They're not actually... Uh, 
giving up. They're trying hard and it's paying off. <coughs> Davis Webb coming in now. Stanton still on strike. Bowles plays it on the leg side. Quick single to Harper who decides safety is the better part of valor and does not throw the ball uh, single to Marion. But again, this is great. Not a boundary now for uh, a couple of deliveries. And in the death overs, this really is a good comeback from Balbriggan. Marion now up to 120 for six with just seven balls to go. Tom Joyce, excellent batsman. Great record. Hopefully he doesn't add to his run tally today. Balls, he's hit it in the air. It's falling short of mid on there, just a single. And that brings the 19th over to a conclusion. Marion 121 for six. Okay, and we're into the final over. And who's going to get thrown the ball? This really could be a make or break over here. A good over from Balbriggan. We'll see Marion with under 130. Uh, if they're able to cut loose here, then it could make it a very difficult challenge. Satar, Abdul Satar. To bowl the final over. Uh, Davis Webb finishing his spell with one for 13. Abdul Satar now one for 23 off his three overs. Thrown the ball for the final over of the Marion innings. Taking time to set his field. Even for a young player, he's very, very experienced and knows exactly the field that he wants and what he's going to bowl to. Sitar into Joyce. He bowls. Joyce down the wicket, plays across the line to mid-wicket. They're running hard. Could it be two? But they're not taking a chance on Defratis' arm, and rightly so. Brilliant bit of fielding there. I think the bowler will be happy with that. He's... He pitches the ball right up, Roger, and sometimes it's hard to get underneath it, especially in the death overs. It can be can be difficult to bowl to batsmen like Dom Joyce. They've got a lot of shots in their armory, but good death bowling from Satar so far. Satar in again. Bowls short of a length. And he's clean bowled in middle stump. Goes cartwheeling back. A great sight to see for any bowler. Marion now seven down for 122. I this think he deserved that, Roger, based on, on his bowling so far. He's bowled really well. He has bowled a good line. Stump uh, to stump. Good areas. Uh, Especially first game of the season. If you bowl straight, you're in the game. He's now two for 24. And remember, five of those runs came from overthrows in his first over, second over. Uh, but a good comeback here. It's all about keeping your head in the death over and bowling those tight lines, and he's really done well on that. And the next batsman we have is Amish Sidhu. He's been playing with, previously played with Phoenix, and he's also involved with the Monster panel. Good left arm spinner. Haven't seen a whole lot of him batting. Hopefully, he doesn't do too much damage to the scores before the end. 122 for seven with four balls remaining. Left handed Sidhu maybe could make a difference now being able to target the shorter leg side boundary over into the Hyde Park football pitch. Sun really out now, shining, making the ground, looking absolutely splendid as we come to the end of the first inning. Satari into bowl. Falling straight, plays across the line, looking to hit it to the leg side, but ends up in cover. Dice running hard. To Freitas, a good arm, filled it to Fletcher, who dives, and he Ooh. misses the stumps. He would have been gone. I think he had a couple a couple <coughs> more. Uh... Very, very difficult take there from Fletcher. If he'd been two yards closer to the I think he had more stumps. time than he realised, Roger. Yeah, from two the look runs the batsman putting the bat down. But I don't think Paul Brigham will mind this with Sidhu being on strike rather than Dom Joyce. Satar and Stu, wild swing there, and a dot ball. That's exactly what Balbriggan are looking at. 124 for seven. With two to come. Two now. Two balls remaining. 
124 for seven. Satar now coming in to bowl. Slower ball clipped in the air to mid wickets, but only a single. Okay, and we've one to come. Dom Joyce on strike. Will he try and launch and finish the innings with a maximum? It's going to be very difficult with Sitar bowling very, very tightly here. The death overs. Need to bowl to Joyce. Slow ball plays across the line. Very clever the bowling. ball into the leg side for only a single, and that's a great end to the innings there a great spell from Satir and Merrion end up on 125 for seven. 25 for seven 125 for seven I think Balbriggan would be very happy uh, with that total particularly with the batting of Jack Carty who got Merrion off to a flyer certainly 160 would have been on the cards if he'd been remain there for longer than he did but that's a great fight back from Balbriggan a few drop catches early on in the innings they thought they were going to get away but they really have shown some great discipline with the bowling and have pulled it back to a very manageable total Merrion 126 for seven at the end of the 20 overs we're going to take a short break now yep. for the commentary and we'll be back live in online 15 minutes. in 15 minutes I have to go and get my gear for the second team match
and welcome back to the Jack Harper Memorial Ground. The play is just about to get underway in the second innings in a few minutes. While we're just waiting here, I have with me one of our guest commentators, Peter Boyd. Peter is covering the match for Cricket Leinster. And I believe, Peter, you've got an enhanced role this year. Well, yeah, it's it's brilliant to be able to have... Um, I, I've Oshie and Kennery with me. He's a fantastic photographer. And it just means that we can give much more coverage to all of the lads. You know, they're, they're given their time to, to come out and play. You know, particularly the lads who... What I love to give coverage to is the lads who maybe aren't getting the interprovincial recognition or the uh, international recognition. The lads who are working 9 to 5, Monday to Friday, they come out and play their game at the weekend and they, they don't get written about. They don't see themselves up in lights too often. So if we can give them a bit of publicity, a bit of coverage and give them a bit of notice, if they play well at the weekend, we can give them the... Their, their, put them on the on, on the website and give them a bit of coverage. And I, I love being able to do that. So um, what I can do with the with the with the camera is is to be able to give them the close-ups when they're when they play, take a good shot take a good catch anything like that and uh, it's much better than me using my phone so uh, yeah. <laughs> he, he can get a lot better and a lot closer to them without walking out oh, there yeah. into the middle of the field <laughs> well certainly the uh, the quality uh, and standard of cricket and uh, not only in the first and second divisions is improving year on year in Ireland we've seen a great difference in the interprovincial matches this year with a lot of players who perhaps wouldn't have played uh, the, at that standard uh, come into it and make a name for themselves. And it's really great to see the coverage now coming down to grassroots levels for the clubs. We certainly have the coverage of the international side, the interprovincials. And I think it's brilliant that we're now getting this enhanced coverage, uh, say, at the Premier level, when there are a lot of good cricketers who have every chance of the good season of making the interprovincial setup. Well, that's the thing. There, there are, the talent is there and the people are there. And, you know, it, we're obviously here in Balbriggan, you're involved with the club, but, you know, we're seeing the value of someone who's, who's played a little bit of cricket already this, this, this summer, early summer, with Jack Carty in that first innings, you know. Somebody who's got his eye in and, and is playing well, but there's other lads there that, that are well able and more, more than capable of putting their, their hand up and getting a bit of recognition and getting themselves seen. I mean, he certainly got off to a flyer and looked very much uh, in form, and I think you're right, the benefit of playing overseas in the winter certainly put him in good stead. I'm sure all the other players uh, will be shaking off the rust in the first couple of games and there'll be some very, very high scores and some great individual performances to come during the first half of this season in the Leinster Senior Cup sponsored by Sports Hub. Absolutely, and, and, and the, no more than ourselves being able to give the extra bit of coverage, you know, having the sponsorship there as well, you know, you mentioned it, 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 it just adds to everything that we can, that we can do to, to allow myself, to allow, uh, have an O'Sheen there as well, you know, all that extra coverage is, isn't, isn't able to be done without sponsors, clubs rely on them, you know, yeah. as do everyone else, so uh, if we don't have that, that extra uh, few quid coming in, you know, we can't, we can't do all these things, but I, I love the fact, as you say, you know, we have so many different games and and it's not only at the, at the top level I'm looking forward to you know later on the season as we get to the business end of it you know it, th there are other other competitions that I'll hopefully be able to cover as well and, and go out and see lads who, who who even maybe not playing at the at the top level playing seconds and thirds and, and that and it, and it means just as much to them you know it doesn't it doesn't matter that, that it, what the, what the standard is they're, they're looking to, to, to play and, and, and be successful and hopefully if we get the opportunity and the weather holds and all the rest of it we can we can give those lads a bit of coverage as well. So you'll not only be covering the Premier League, you'll be going down uh, well, into the lower divisions. Is that the plan? Ho hopefully later on uh, in the season, if if we can do that, and, and particularly with the cup final weekends and things like that, you know, like like I've done over the last few years when we have the the two two cup finals on on a day, particularly with the T Twenty competitions, that I can do those finals days and be able to to see see more of the clubs and and get out into across the province, you know, and we've seen the growth in all the other clubs, you know, the, outside of Dublin as well, that, you know, there's so many, so many vibrant um, growing clubs, so it's just trying to, trying to fit them all in is the problem now. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> when, when you've got the likes of Adamstown now, and I believe are playing nine sides, yeah. uh, the development of cricket supported by uh, the governing body of Cricket Leinster has certainly uh, 
it's broken all boundaries from sort of five or six years ago it really is developing now as we come to it the players have taken the field Merion uh, will be bowling Balbriggan looking to chase uh, a target of 126 certainly they'll be very happy that the target is only 126 certainly when Carty was batting it looked like he'd be a lot more what was your take on the first innings there Peter yeah, I, I thought it, you know it was it was a bit a bit of rustiness possibly there at the very beginning with um, with, with with the opening bowlers for for Balbriggan and, and Jack Jack kind of tucked in as best he could best he could into the first couple of overs, but as we got to the halfway, we got we had sixty five for one, you know at, after ten overs, it looked like a really big score was looking looking like a possibility, but however. The, the comeback there and there was a couple of a couple of drops a couple of chances that went down in the field as well but as as we got further into it and, and as the uh, the innings progressed it, it was it was really great to see actually from the broad brigham lads because no no heads went down nobody dropped dropped out of it they all kept kept working kept trying and uh, and they really put their effort in and, and, and they got the rewards then in that second half of the that first very innings come back yeah. and now we here we come to the first ball uh, of the bow brigham chase Bowled by Jack Carty, opening the batting and the bowling, bowling into Connor Fletcher. And a little bit of a false start there. I think he lost his run up. So the inning's still yet to begin. It's always an interesting one when you see you see somebody like uh, Jack Carty op opening opening for both the batting and the bowling. So uh be interesting to see how he goes. He'd be very disappointed obviously that he didn't get to his half century in a couple of Again, the benefit of having Oshin with is a couple of a couple of great shots. Not great for him, obviously. He was very disappointed not to go to his half century, but beautiful, beautiful shots of of his disappointment as he as he got out for forty nine in that first Absolutely innings. Absolutely very disappointed. So a little tickle there down the leg side by Fletcher gets the bad big in reply off. Single to Fletcher and Farouk Nazir now coming in to take strike as the second Barber again opener. Certainly the, uh, the Balbriggan fielding and the way they kept their head up. Uh, early green shoots there. I think perhaps the influence of Andre Botha as the coach who I know has been drilling the side really, really hard in the pre-season. Carty comes into Bolton. Nazir full toss on the leg side. He punches it Beautiful through. Beautiful shot. On. Will that race away early in the season? Will that have to pace to run away? Looks like it. Chases in vain. One of those ones you hate as a fielder. It, it teased him all the way to the boundary. Made it, he didn't have a chance to give up on it and let it run away. It kept kept tempting him to keep running and keep sprinting. Tom Stanton there showing the captain's energy. He kept going all the way, but it was just running away from all the way and a uh, lovely boundary to get underway for the uh, for the Balbriggan. Balbriggan, five for no wicket after two. They'll mm -hmm. be very happy with that start, but still a very long way to go. Long way to go, but... Few ripples, ripples of applause there from 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 the the, the people, and it's great to, great to see crowds and 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 a few people knocking around it and watching the game here live. It's absolutely. I think people are delighted to be able to get out and finally watch some cricket and on a beautiful sunny day here at Balbriggan. There is no finer place. It really is a testament to the hardworking uh, committee and ground staff, the improvements and the standards that you see within the field uh, at this club wasn't so long ago uh, that this was a greenfield site and it really has developed now with a top class a wicket Stanton into ball Farouk on the back foot plays it into cover no run it's good energy in the field there again there, there was the one thing that was noticeable about Balbriggan all the way through their 20 overs while the, while there may have been a couple of mistakes and a couple of things like that a couple of chances went down and, and overthrows there was great energy throughout the throughout the 20 overs and you were mentioning about Andre Bolt they're really drilling them hard and, and that's it, it's another testament to the club here to bring somebody in like him like himself to to really push the players on to the next level Stanton into Farouk plays defensive onto the onside yeah, I think it's something that uh, a lot of clubs have been doing and certainly Balbriggan now have joined into it uh, whilst there's merit in having the player who coaches to have a dedicated coach who can attend every session, uh, practice games, not only with the seniors but also with the juniors and the elite juniors 
he really is making a heck of a difference so early in the season. Stanton balls for Oog, runs for a quick single, throw there and safe. Nice bit of running there from Farouk. A good start to the innings. That's six for no wickets off the first over. A yeah, nice steady start to the ball bringing response. Yes, yeah, certainly. I mean, uh, T20 is, you know, crash, bang, boom. But also there's still uh, a place for the watchful cricket playing each ball on its merit. And particularly when you've got a target of just over a runner ball, things don't have to be uh, all hell to scalter. I'm sure these players, with all the practice they had, if they get a bad ball, they will put it away uh, and get value for their shots here at the ground. But 125, 130, that's a manageable uh, target. But a lot depends on the bowling. Coming yeah. into bowl now, is Tom Tom Stanton going to going to <laughs> bowl himself? It was interesting. We saw the one over of, of spin to open the Balbriggan innings as well. But uh, the Tom Stanton from 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 this this end here in Balbriggan, I don't don't know the, the the names of the ends. So uh, from the from the, the commentary box end, we'll, we'll go with uh, it's the Franco Gill Day end. Uh, where Franco. Franco was one of the founding members of Balbriggan of course, back yes. in 1960 from uh, a great family. Stanton Bowles beautifully cut it. away. That's a glorious shot. Lovely played off the back foot and cut away through point. That's a lovely shot from Farouk. Always a danger with the slow bowler with the power play. Uh, you really have to be tight on your lines, give no width, and keep the ball in good areas. But that's a great punch on the offside there from Farouk. Ooh, mm, just de okay. deceives him there. Dot ball. Just passing to your screens, the great yeah. Joe Curtis. One of the longest serving umpires in Leinster cricket. And that's a wide right. there from Stanton. Balbriggan would be grateful for the additional run and the extra ball. Certainly a bit of pressure here on the skipper. Ball short sure. again, outside on the offside, but no run. That was one one issue the the Balbriggan opening bowlers had was just a little bit of width they they gave to to both Carty and and Anderson just allowed them to cut and pull particularly and uh, could could be an issue for for Tom. He, go, he goes with the with the bowling with the sunglasses to stay on it, no matter whether it could be two two degrees and and Tom will oh, still have the great uh, little tip from the and it's for one. And comes back for two. Very delicate play there. No slip in for the uh, the power play, and a very nice little dab there for two. Balbriggan very swiftly on for thirteen for no wicket with one ball remaining in the second over. Stanton in a bowls darts mm. the ball into Farouk, who defends it, plays it back, and that's the end of the over. Thirteen for no wicket after two. Yeah, and cons considering we, we we said that uh, it was the sec it was the second over. Jack Carty really got got into the into the Balbriggan bowling t 20, 20 without loss. Uh, Marion Ware at this point as well, but nice steady start ahead of the race and nice 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 game building here. I think it's got potential for what could be a uh, tight finish. There's still a lot of experience in the Marion side. So nobody has taken anything for granted. There's a long way to go. And in T20, a couple of balls, a couple of wickets can make a huge difference. Fletcher now not had much of the strike so far. Facing Carty. Short. Fletcher That's cuts. Had a great oh. effort there, but just dropped at backward point. That would have been an amazing catch if he'd taken it. But just a little bit to his right and couldn't quite get his hands on it. Mick Lewis there, who had the gloves on, of course, last season, not 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 keeping this year, and he made a valiant effort there, diving away to his left hand side. Really, he almost got two hands to it there, I think, and it, they they are they're the ones that either stick, stick or don't. But it was a really good if effort. If it had gone, it would have been already the catch of the season, but alas, not. Carty into bowl to Nazir, oh. just struggled to get through there. 
but a dot ball. Again, I think Carty now is finding his line and length and will make it very difficult for the Balbrigham uh, batsman. Comes into ball, shot through, edges it, plays it backward through point for just the signal there. Balbrigham 15 for no wicket now chasing 127 uh, a good start Thornton into Fletcher bowls very well pitched up and just played back by yeah. Fletcher there for as a you say Carty Car seems to have found, found a nice rhythm there for himself good line and length not offering any, any of that width that we saw a little earlier Certainly there doesn't seem to be the rust that some of us older players have to get, shake off before we can start finding our <laughs> lengths. These young lads who have been playing in the winter are certainly now bringing the standards very much up within this game. Short oh. beats Fletcher outside the off stump. Another good delivery there. So he really is hitting his rhythm now. Balbriggan, a good start. Still need to be watchful. But there's no pressure at the moment as we do have uh, a good little amount of runs scored in the first couple of overs. But in the T20, a couple of good overs at either end, it changes the whole dynamics of the game. Carty into Fletcher again. Full toss, Full toss on the left side, away. put away for four runs through backwards square. Stanton over pitch in there. Full toss on the leg stump, dispatched by Fletcher, bringing to the end of the third over. And Balbriggan 15 for 19 for no wicket. We're a little bit ahead of the uh, computer software here. We've always said that about Balbriggan being that little bit ahead of it, uh, the rest of the world. They have a forward yeah. thinking uh, committee there and they really are making great uh, inroads. But that's just just shows you know a really, a really good over from Carty there, but just one, one, one poor delivery. Full toss on leg stump and whipped away and gets the boundary from the <laughs> over and really at six runs and over being required that's all it takes the the Balbriggan batsman can afford to be patient wait for that one bad delivery provided they put it away and that's that's all they can get so now coming on to bowl uh, from the uh, the Franco Gilday end we have Amish Sidhu and uh, left arm spin he'll uh, he looked at extract some some turn out of the, out of the pitch here but uh so Sidhu into Nazir nice loop pushes forward no run that's a great start there always difficult for a slow bowler in the power play but that's the accuracy that's required Farouk experienced player we'll just see how he goes and he's gone mm. long over long off and the ball travels away for four runs a great boundary element of risk there, but he had the power to raise it through the infield, several bounces and rocketing away there into the covers. Didn't take long to have a look, did he? Just a, just a one ball and had, had, had a quick look and then came down the track, advanced and played a lovely shot there, never in danger. Oh, just beats him outside the off stump there, maybe looking to go long again. Not too much footwork that time. That was the big difference there. Just planted planted his foot and swung the bat. Didn't really come come to get to the pitch of the ball. Watchful again. They've moved the man out now in long off, so that's an easy signal uh, there for Farouk Nazir. Balbriggan moving now to 24 for no wicket, keeping up that six runs and over. 127 the target so they'll be happy with this start no wickets lost it's all about partnerships in this t20 game
Off the a back beautiful foot, front shot. Fletcher, a superb back foot cover drive. Really, really timed the ball exceptionally well. Balbriggan now 28 for zero. Chasing 128 to win, so 100 runs now required. Short Fletcher plays off the back foot and misses it. Misses out that time, but. That there we go, nine, nine off that over, and again, not nothing really of any danger to to the Balbriggan batsmen so far. They've looked looked comfortable, looked assured, and they'd be happy with their start. Twenty eight for no wickets. Very happy uh, with that start. We'll see now if Carty can get that breakthrough. He certainly is last over was uh, very economic except for the last ball and he started to look a little bit dangerous. We'll see how the Balbriggan batsman can react. Carty into Farouk, short, plays it onto the outside, no run. Mentioned in the previous over, obviously that Michael Lewis doesn't have the gloves this year. You see it's young John O'Hara, young, young under 19. Again, another one of these young players coming into the top level. And, Interesting to see. He didn't get he get a chance to bat uh, earlier on. He was slate, slated for number number eleven, just e easing him into things. But uh, it'll be interesting to see how, how he goes as the season go progresses. Certainly, there's talent coming through in uh, all the Premier League clubs uh, and others, and it's certainly strengthening the whole base uh, of Leinster cricket. Carty turns, comes in again to Farouk Nazir. Short, he goes long. He oh, just couldn't get more straight than that. <laughs> and that certainly denied him, I think, uh, four runs there. His drive was just so straight, it went straight back and took out the stumps. Umpire Tony Wall uh, resets them. Still a single there, though, yeah. to Nazir. He's sharp enough on his feet there, getting out of the way, Tony. But, uh, Certainly don't want to get hit in the shins with the cricket ball, I can tell you. Carty to Fletcher. Straight. Mm. Fletcher just defends the ball back. Another good over this from, from Jack Carty. You know, the last over, he, he didn't get out of it, didn't finish the over well. Had that... A full toss on leg stump, but uh, he'll be looking to get out of this over and finish well. Certainly, if he can uh, see this one out, he would have put the Balbriggan rate down, and that's what you want. A good tight over, it can really change the dynamics of the game. Carty into Fletcher down the leg side, defends, yeah. looking for a single, but no chance of a run there in the covers. Final ball of the over. Can, can he get out? That's that's what Jack Carty will be looking for. Over the wicket. Oh, beautifully. Straight. Great delivery there. No chance of Fletcher getting the ball away there to that Yorker. So at the end of the fifth over, Balbriggan 29 for the loss of no wickets. 99 runs now required of 15 overs. Yeah, interesting comparison. You know, at the end of the power play. Marion were 42 for one. One over left in the in the power play for Bob Reagan. They're 29 without loss. It's important that the, these these two these two um that's going to be another change change of bowling. Staunton back on again. Back on again. One over spells. You know, it's it's a, 
it's funny how these things you know when it, when when they're seen in the in the higher levels become a become a thing and down wide Farouk pushes it to the offside throw it is in the dive oh. strikes Farouk but he's safely uh, in his ground there it's a quick single taking yeah. Barbary get on to 30 yeah absolutely the one over spells you've seen it in the county game it's now filtered its uh, way down just to keep the batsman guessing Farouk I'm just taking yeah. his time here I think he's taken a little bit of a uh, blow in, a blow or in fact no he's no. broken his pad yeah I'm not, I'm not surprised it did look a bit awkward as he as he came, he came into as he finished that run whether he, he almost came in feet first like a, a, a runner coming into the base in, in baseball rather than uh, come, finishing in with his bat first but, uh, so just a little bit of a delay here yeah. So we spoke yeah. earlier that you're uh, covering the games. Where's the uh, next match you on for the next weekend? Or? So at at the at the moment we're uh, we're looking at Terenure and Rush next next Saturday, and uh, so that that that'll be an, another another good game. And what we're looking to do, uh, hopefully throughout the course of the season, is is get to as many grounds and and cover as many clubs as possible. Um, with this season, hopefully between the Senior League Cup and the and the Premier League Championship, we should be able to get to all the all the all the clubs um, and and see see everyone in, across the top two divisions, um, in in the in the regular season, so to speak, and then uh, then as I said with the with the cup final weekends, we'll hopefully see some more um, some more of the of the maybe lesser lesser covered games and and clubs. And uh, yeah, it's it's just a it's just brilliant to be able to to go out and meet meet people, see them, and 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 see all these all these lads that are putting in so much time and effort. You know, that's the that's the you like I like I like to see it. And not that it's anything fantastic, but it's a it's a reward for for good effort yeah. and and time spent, um, with family and away from family. Sometimes you know, coming out to the cricket at the weekend, and and you want to be able to get something in return and. Uh, if that's if that's a report in, it, in on the website or getting getting shared somewhere along the way on on social media, I was just going to ask where will all these reports be visible on the media platforms? You have so yeah. many these days. We know we have the Cricket Lens, the main website. Yeah, so we'll have we'll have so this game obviously has been covered on on, on the the Cricket Leinster Twitter handle, but then we'll have we'll have a full match report later on, full roundup of all the Leinster scene. We'll also have the 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 gallery from uh, from Oshin to 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 go with it and all the all the sights and sounds and and, and everything of the game. So it's a short, you know, the short back foot Fletcher oh, again, back powerfully to about. superb back to back boundaries there for Fletcher. Staunton just a little bit short, perhaps overcompensating for the previous delivery, and Fletcher taking full advantage of it with a miraculous back foot cover drive. Staunton again. Fletcher goes back That's again. It's through the fields. fielders. That's could it be the third consecutive boundary? It is. Yes. Fletcher having taken a great liking here to Staunton. Two balls pitched short and punished there by Fletcher. At the end of the power play, Balbriggan move on to 42 for no wicket against Marion's 42 for one. So it's even Stevens. As we come to the end of the power play, I'd like to thank Peter Boyd for joining me here in the commentary box. I hope you've enjoyed uh, listening uh, to him and I wish you well and look forward to seeing you again sometime in the season, Peter. Thanks many for having me, Roger. And, and here's to an exciting conclusion to today's game anyway. Thanks very much. Cheers, thank you. And a change of uh, bowling here at the Huey Riley end. We have Hugh Kennedy coming in for his first spell. Cheers. Kennedy right arm medium fast. 
Batsman Fletcher on 22 and Nazir on 19. Fletcher's 22 coming off 14 balls and Nazir off 22. Kennedy now into Nazir. Short pulls it, mistimes it just to mid on. No run. I think Farouk Nazir will be disappointed there that he missed out. But perhaps the change of pace with the new bowler didn't quite get his timing right there. Kennedy into Nazir, full but clips it away rather wristily down to fine leg. There is a fielder there, so it's just a single, very wristy shot there by Nazir, taking Balbriggan on to 43. Kennedy into Fletcher, ball short, tries to pull it, mistimes it a little, threw on the shot a little bit too early, and just ball rolling out there to mid on, fielded by Joyce. Kennedy in again to Fletcher, short, he's pulled it as he got hold of it, there's nobody in the mid-wicket area, and that's the maximum, six runs to Fletcher. Fletcher now really starting to increase the pace, taking himself on to 28. Lovely little pull shot there, off the short delivery. And we get a good comeback here from Kennedy. Comes in, bowls fuller length. Fletcher flicks away to the leg side. A fielder down there, so just the single. And that's the 50 up for Balbriggan off the fifth ball of the seventh over. Kennedy into the zero, full ball, full toss, quick single being taken, slight misfield there at mid off and in the end, an easy single to Farouk Nazir. So at the end of the seventh over, Balbriggan are 51 for the loss of no wickets, chasing 128. Turning into the attack, uh, Sadhu, left arm spin from the Franco Gilday end. Without the restraints of the power play, let's see how he goes. Short, good bit of turn there. Farouk playing down the line, just a little bit of turn away from him, ball taken by the keeper. Watchful again from Farouk. Flighted. Appeal for stumping. Not out, says umpire Tony Wall. Very good bit of glove work there. Nice bit of flight there from Sidhu. Just goes to show there is a place in the T20 format for the slow bowler. <coughs> Sidhu in again, bowls back foot, punched off the back foot by Farouk Nazir. Just a single to long off.
Ooh, a big wipe there by Fletcher. Saw the flight, but that was rather craftily bowled by Sidhu. Ball turning away and Fletcher in the end not quite getting near it. Patience is required now. Sidhu bowls. Fletcher gives himself a bit of width, but hits the ball straight to extra cover. No run. A very good over there from Sidhu, who's bowled two overs for 10 runs. Balbriggan moving on to 52 for no wicket off eight overs. Kennedy to return into the attack. Fletcher 29 off 19 balls and Nazir 22 off 23. Still anyone's game at this stage. Field getting spread a little bit more as Long On now takes up his position. Kennedy in short for it whips it away on the leg side for just a single rotating the strike and getting connor fletcher Kennedy bowls. Fletcher takes a yard, but the ball a little bit too far from him as he gave himself a bit of room, so he misses out there. Certainly starting to move around the crease now. Fletcher looking to increase the run rate and take advantage of these middle overs and not let Marion get on top, trying to rotate the strike and punch the boundaries. Into bowl shorts wide. Fletcher, somewhat lazy shot there, missing it. Tries to correct in the shot he should have played. Another dot ball. Perhaps there's a little bit of pressure here building on Fletcher. He's got that flurry of boundaries a few overs ago. And he's looking, I think, to hit some more and perhaps getting a little bit frustrated that he's not connecting. Patience is what we require. Patience. Hitchcock in again, bowls Fletcher short and he gets an edge, flies down to third man and fielded safely there by Joyce. Somewhat bit of a pattern uh, occurring here, similar to the Balbrig in innings, a, uh, a good early start but then the bowlers coming back into it and slowing the run rate down. It's now a matter of who can keep their head the longest. A lot of experience out there with Farouk. Can he make a difference? Kennedy in. Farouk, he's gone high, wide and handsome. That's into the field. A magnificent six there by Farouk. Straight into Hyde Park and over the protective fence in an advertising hoardings. What a great shot. Taking advantage of the slightly smaller leg side boundary. That takes for Rook onto 29 and Fletcher onto 30. Barber again 60 for no wicket with one ball left in the ninth over. That certainly released a bit of pressure there off the Barber again batsman. Getting that six to seven runs and over which is required to see them home. Hitchcock in again to Farouk. Short. Oh, and he misses out there. And that completes the ninth over. Balbriggan 60 for no wicket, chasing 128.
Kennedy's two overs costing him 17 runs. And continuing from the Franco Gilday end is Sidhu. A great last over here. One feels this one could be quite vital. He bowls. And Fletcher has gone high, wide, handsome. That's in the church. Ding dong. A maximum there for Fletcher. <coughs> Been planted in that church so many times myself. But it's great to see the youth coming through and really delivering a massive blow there through mid-wicket. Fletcher downs, quick single, no, decides not to take it. It's just slightly fielded there by Sidhu. In again, Fletcher forward, looks to go long. He's gone through square, but hits it straight to the man out on the boundary for just a single. Six dot single, seven off the over of three balls. Balbriggan will be happy with this chase now. Farouk this time taking strike short. He tries to work it away on the leg side, but only succeeds in finding mid wicket for no run. To do quickly in again, short, keeps a little bit low. Farouk does well to dig that one out. Just to long off for again another single. That's eight off the over so far. Balbriggan keeping up with the required run rate. Sidhu in, Farouk crouches, plays watchfully, decides not to take any risk off the last ball of the 10th over. Balbriggan, 68 for no wicket. Fletcher, 37 off 26. And Nazir, 30 off 34. At the equivalent stage, Merrion was 65 for one. We then had the Balbriggan come back with the ball. So Balbriggan three runs ahead at the same stage of Merrion. Still anyone's game. These next couple of overs will prove vital. Hitchcock in again to the well set Nazir. Bowls it, driven back. Just the single there. Nice straight drive there from Farouk. Hitchcock getting his fingers out of the way, and who can blame him? Fletcher straight to mid-wicket. Oh, there's a misfield there. Could have been a chance of a run out. They think about taking the second, but Farouk sends Fletcher back. A single there. Could have been a little bit of danger with a clean pickup, but it just squirted through the fielder there, well covered on the boundary. Just a single. Hitchcock in again, short, pulled away in front of square by Farouk. I think he was looking to put that into the soccer field there, but just didn't quite get hold of it. So the ball went through into a long on area for just a single. Balbriggan now on to 70, 71. Short Fletcher's got underneath it. The ball's got in the air. This is the chance he could be out. And that's a great catch there. Fletcher caught at mid-on. Didn't quite get hold of it. Looking to go and launch long.
but just probably hit the toe of the bat there and caught. <coughs> Fletcher gone for a very hard work, 38. Balbriggan there, 71 for one. Could that be the breakthrough that Marion were looking for? The new incoming batsman is Ganam Dara. Left-handed bat. Batsman crossed uh, with the fall of that wicket, so that gets Farouk Nazir back on strike. Surely it'll allow Dara there to get a quick view of the uh, bowling. Kennedy getting his first wicket, one for 20, off 2.4 overs. Certainly Nazir now needs to just continue the momentum and build and see the new player into a partnership. Candy bowls short in the chest there for Nazir, who goes back and pushes the ball onto the offside. Kennedy runs in, bowls his ear on the leg side, clips it away there through square for just the single. Keeping the scoreboard rotating and keeping the strike. Balbriggan moving on, 72-4-1 off 11 overs. Fifty-seven required now off nine. Don't know who's the bowler. Change of bowling at the Gilday end. Hitchcock coming on for his first bowl of the game and the season. Bowl into Farouk Nazir. Right arm over here from Hitchcock, who bowls short of a length. Nazir tucks it away onto the leg side, into the mid-wicket, safely collected by the fielder for a single. So Ganam Dara about to take strike for his first ball. Left-handed bat, very elegant from what I've seen so far in the nets. Bold and very watchful, just defends the ball out into the offside. Good start here from Hitchcock, one run off two balls. This is the pressure now that Mary will be looking to build. Dry up the boundaries and prevent the batsman from turning over the singles. Hitchcock in again, short, played away on the offside, but no run, straight to the fielder. Hitchcock bowls, Dara watchful again, just guides it behind backward point for the single. 
off the mark there. But again, only two runs off the over. So this is a very good one for Merrion. Certainly starting to build the pressure a little bit now. These are the vital overs. If Balbriggan can keep their heads and keep playing sensibly, you just never know. So it's got balls in his ear. Again, tucks it round rather riskily. Two behind square there for another single. Three singles off the over and two dot balls. They'll be very happy with this. Hitchcock coming in to finish his first over. Fallen straight, whipped away rather wristily again by Dara through mid-wicket, but for just the single. Four runs off the over. Balbriggan 176 for one after 12. So Dara taking strike there, facing Kennedy in his final over. Short tries to pull it through mid-wicket, thinks about a single but sends Nazir back there. Didn't want to take it on the, on the arm of the Merrion Mary, fielders. short Dara pulls but it's through the shot a little bit too quickly and the ball just goes to the keeper good little spell here from Merrion that's five runs in the last eight balls this is the type of bowling that they'll be looking to now to see in these final overs Certainly the innings following very much uh, the same trend as Merrion when they were batting first a good start and then they were tied down by tight bowling in the latter stages. Hitchcock slower ball picked up by Dara, who tickles it round for the leg. Looks, thinks about a second run, but decides to wisely not take on the arm of Dom Joyce. Slight change in the field, just waiting for the fourth man to come up into the circle. Kennedy ready to come here again. Bowls to Nazir short, pulls it through mid wicket, but straight to the fielder there for one run. into Dara short tries to follow it there outside the off stump looking to guide it down past the keeper but Jess misses it for another dot ball certainly the boundaries for Balbriggan have dried up in the last couple of overs 
but that's credit to good bowling here from Merrion. Kennedy coming to the end of his final over, so there will be a change of bowling. Maybe that will change the fortunes. Balbriggan, though, still well placed. Game very, very much even at this stage. Kennedy to Dara, short, cuts it wide. That's a tremendous shot, hit with power, through backward point there for four runs. That will lift some of the pressure off the Balbriggan chase. Certainly need to cause a bit of damage there to one of our spectators. But that completes the end of the 13th over. Balbriggan 82 for one. Dara now into eight off 11. And Nazir, been somewhat quiet for the last couple of overs, 35 of 39 balls. So that's 46 runs required off the last seven overs. We haven't seen Balbriggan go large at the moment. Still pacing this chase very, very accurately. Let's see how they get on. Short, high, wide, there's a man out there. Will it be caught? Joyce is underneath it, and he takes a great catch there at deep long on. Nazir trying to pick the longest boundary, but just holds out there to the safe hands of Joyce. That could prove a very big wicket in this chase as two set batsmen are out in very short succession. Valbriggan now 82 for two. Coming to the crease, another player on debut for Balbriggan, Greg Ford, having recently moved from Malahide. Greg looking to make a big impact here from Balbriggan. Gets a few words of wisdom and advice from Nazir, who's been out there from the start, and makes his way to the middle. Marion now in a huddle, very much focused, just out of camera there. Really skipper laying down the law and really telling them what's need to bring this game home for Marion. Very much with the fall of Farouk, this game is very, very open. It could go either way. It's too close to call. So Hitchcock with his first wicket. Uh, the batsman crossed at the fall uh, of the last batsman, Farouk Nazir. So it's Ganem Dara on strike. Hitchcock into Dara, short, slashed away on the offside from Gangham, but just a single there. Slight misfield there from the safe hands of Joyce, single to Balbriggan. Bringing Greg Ford onto strike for his first ball for Balbriggan. So Hitchcock comes into Ford. Balls fall straight, solid defensive shot, no run. Ford looking to leg, maybe he's thinking of trying to work it down there. And he's been clean bowled, leg stump. That's a great wicket there by Hitchcock. Bowled full and straight and took out the leg stump there of Ford, who departs for a second ball duck on debut. He'll be very disappointed with that, but he's a quality player, so there'll be more runs to come later on in the season. Merrion now really fighting back strongly. Balbriggan, 83 for three. Next in is Balbriggan skipper Nathan Rooney. 
Nathan has been hampered by a little bit of knee trouble in recent years, but that's all now behind him. And he certainly can hit a very long ball if he gets going. Forty five runs still required from Balbriggan from thirty two balls. So it's starting to creep up a little bit, but in T twenty in the modern game, that's not too steep a target. But the Merriam bowlers are fighting back really, really well at the moment, bowling very good areas and cutting out the four ball, which is really stymieing the Balbriggan run chase at this stage. Rooney takes a few warm-up swings. I think he's looking to loosen those levers and launch. There is a little bit of a tailwind coming down towards us in the commentary box end. Hitchcock comes into Rooney. He bowls straight. Rooney on the front foot. A little bit of lift there from the delivery. Ball goes on to the offside. No run. This is a good spell here from Hitchcock. Two wickets for five runs in nearly two overs. He bowls again. Rooney full and straight. Big appeal for LBW. And appeal for a run out there. It's all going on here. Jeremy Jeffrey, standing umpire, turns down the LBW. And Tony Wall turns down the run out attempt. Very, very close decisions there at either end. It's all happening here at Balbriggan. In their chase, Balbriggan, 83 for 3 of 14. 45 runs still required off the last six. At a rate of eight runs per over. The last couple of overs have only yielded half a dozen runs. So very much it's for Balbriggan now to up the ante and pick up this momentum. Reintroduction of Stanton here. Change of ends here. So he's coming in from the Huey Riley end. Bigger boundaries on the leg side. This couple of overs now will be vital. Dara facing. Bowls plays cuts are on the ground, but again only a single. Well stopped there in the field at backward point. Stanton into Rooney, short loon. Rooney pays it round on the leg side, thinks about a single and is called through by Dara there. A little bit of hesitancy there, wasn't quite sure, but the non-striker thought he could make it rather easily and in the end he did. Balbriggan, 84 for three. Stanton into Dara, full toss, miscued completely there by Dara. I think that's one that's got away there, although there are two fielders out on the deep mid-wicket boundary. Stanton, watchful single there, just backward of point. Balbriggan still only scoring in singles at this stage. This is a great comeback by Merrion. Stanton into Rooney, Fiersman down the leg side. Will it make four? That's four runs. And it's been given as runs. I was just hesitating there to see if it'd be called wide. But umpire Tony Waller judges that Rooney got a little tickle onto that. So four runs off Stanton's quicker ball. Taking Balbriggan into the 90s. 
Starts into Rooney, fires it in short, keeps it a little bit low. Rooney pays it out on the leg side, two square for just a single. So at the end of the 15th over, Balbriggan 91 for three. 37 runs still required off the last five overs. Dangerous Hitchcock coming in to bowl for his third over. Bowling to Rooney. Short, Rooney pushes it on the leg side. No fielder in the in-ring and an easy single. Hitchcock bowling to Dara. Full ball just punches it nicely and rather controlled through the offside, through mid off there for a single. Certainly that four from Rooney lifted the Balbriggan players there. Score starting to tick over again after the last couple of two very tight overs there from Merrion. 93 for three. Into Rooney. Full Rooney looks to launch it but doesn't quite get hold of it, so it just trickles out there into the mid wicket region, there for another single. <laughs> Hitchcock into Dara. Bowles drops the wrists on it. A quick single there. Rooney's running. He could be short, but just makes it there. Scampers home for a very quick single. Balbriggan now really looking to increase the momentum and put the Marion fielders under pressure. After two tight overs from Hitchcock, there's now been a run off every ball this over. And Balbriggan starting to up the ante. Gearing up for a tight final four overs, Rog. Absolutely, Adrian. Welcome back here. Hitchcock in again. Full, big, hits the pads. No shout. Going down the leg side. No run. Certainly been a well-chased uh, innings there, Adrian. But it's time now. A couple yep. of boundaries would help. A couple help of wickets too. always changes things up and gives the opposition the, the kind of feel-good factor to go on then and bowl a few tight balls and overs. Hitchcock to Rooney, full ball, he's six. got a hold of it, but there's a man out there at mid-wicket, it's through his hands, and it's six runs. Yes, six for Rooney. A great six there from Rooney. You couldn't Did see it on camera, guys, but Fielder probably should have taken the catch. So think he, he did get a hand to it. Certainly went through his hands, but that will help the Balbriggan chase, and off the last ball of the over, Balbriggan now break through the 100, 103, 101 for three, Four overs remaining, 25 runs required. We're really coming into a grandstand finish here at the Jack Harper Memorial Ground in absolutely gorgeous Irish weather. That's what Andre's been preaching to the lads, is the last ball of the over is very, very important. If you've bowled a good over, don't concede the boundary. And I think the fielder let the batsman or the bowler down on that one, Roger boy. Certainly, we've had a six and a four off the last ball uh, of a couple of overs. That's ten runs uh, when those two overs have only yielded a couple of runs before. Now, four overs Sidhu to back go. into the attack. Sidhu back in for his final over. It's been Change well today, Sidhu. Dara on strike. Sidhu bowls. Dara tries to glide it down but misses. So that's a dot ball. 23 balls remaining. 27 runs required. Sidhu Balls tries to sweep it through mid wicket. It's gone straight to the field there. A great throw, uh, but just slightly away from Sidhu at the bowler's end. So Probably would have been single. looking to go at Rooney's end there. Rooney's the danger man. If he's here at the end, Bob Brigham will win. But if he's not, 
which he may not have been there. I think he might have been short if the bowler threw it to the, to the keeper. Change of field here for Rooney. He does have that short leg side boundary to target. Just got a slight delay here as a spectator walks behind the bowler's arm. I can see who it is, but I shan't mention <laughs> the name. Sidhu into Rooney, short. Oh, a bottom edge there. Looking for one, Rooney looking for two, but I don't think he's going to make it. No, he decides not to take that second run. He's got away with one there, Rog. Think Probably the right length to go for it. I think just he kept just execute a the little shot. bit low there, Rooney trying to get it into the Hyde Park soccer pitch, but it just resulted in a single. Sidhu in Sadara, balls short on the leg side, quick single though. It's a good run. Good run in there. At this stage every run is very important, it's vital. Plenty of gaps in the field, uh, particularly in the 30 yard circle for the singles, but it's the boundaries that will eventually decide who is actually going to get over the line. Sidhu gives it a flight. Rooney looks to play it through mid wicket again to the shorter boundary, but completely misjudges it, and it's another dot ball. Balbriggan 104 for three. 24 more runs required. Balls again short, full toss, hit th by Rooney through mid wicket. Straight to the fielder and Darren going for a second run and he quickly scampers home for a second. That's great run in there by the young player. Really makes a big difference. Calling for a drink after his. It was a hard super work second there. run. A lot of guys wouldn't have taken it on. Maybe the fielder could have got it in a little bit quicker and if it had been Max Sorensen in that position, I don't think he would have took him on. Balbriggan, 106 for three. 22 runs required off three overs at seven runs and over. It sounds easy. <laughs> it never is. Is that me? Yeah, that is right. Ganon Dara taking a drink there. It is very warm here today in Balbriggan. Obviously not used to the Irish summer and the heat that we get over here on a regular basis. <clears throat> 22 runs off 18 balls. One good over could swing it either way here. There is plenty of firepower still left in the Balbriggan lineup, but games like this, Roger, can go either way. Hitchcock coming in for his final over, bowling to Garam. Flicks it away rather wristily through mid wickets. That's 21 now off 17 required. Slight misfield by the keeper there, but well backed up. Marion could possibly think about bringing the square leg in for. Got Dara the next time. That was it. Single. Hitchcock to single Rooney. Lost. Bowls full length. Slog sweep there. And he's caught at mid wicket. Rooney holes out there. A great catch just off camera. But the fielder ran in and caught it around his ankles. That takes Balbriggan 107 for four. It was a good catch. Roger, it was uh, always difficult running towards the ball. Rooney just didn't get hold of it, the same as the last over, he just didn't get underneath it fully. Got away with the one in the last over. And unfortunately departs for 17. It was a well made 17. Absolutely. New batsman, uh, Chris De Freitas, certainly looking to follow up on his uh, debut appearance with the ball. He bowled exceptionally well. Can he now do it uh, with the bat? Always difficult coming in in the last couple of overs. Especially when you have to get going from the off. There's no there's no waiting around here, Rog. You have to score from the off. Twenty one now required off sixteen. Hitchcock apart from the last over has bowled exceptionally well. 
I was certainly bowling very good areas here at the death. It's bowling well and it's a good pace for the keeper standing up. Puts a lot of pressure on you as a batsman. It's always difficult when the keeper standing up to someone who's a medium pace moving it around. But it's always great to have a quality keeper there bowling. Yeah. Uh, it does change the game there. It makes and Miriam the will have Stephen Dottany to add into the side next week, so he'll be it. So Hitchcock into De Freitas, facing his first ball in Ireland, short, punches it on the leg side for an easy single. It's nice to get off the mark. Feelers get the tails up if you play a couple of dots and there's only a few balls remaining, so it was nice for De Freitas to get off the mark first ball. 20 now required off 15. It's got balls full length, swung away on the leg side there by Dara, just a single as the fielder comes in from mid on. Move Dara on to 17, and we've two balls remaining in the over. 19 off 14, get into a very close finish here at Balbriggan. A dot or a wicket or a boundary swings the game either way, so it's an interesting it's couple of overs remaining. It goes forward full length, punches it out onto the leg side, but straight to the fielder at deep mid wicket for another single. I think Marion will be still fairly happy to be in the game at this stage, Rog. 18 off 13, it's very much too close to call still. The boundaries have dried up recently, so there's going to be a lot of running here, and there aren't that many twos on this ground. Full toss, driven straight back down the ground. De Freitas running hard, well picked up by Marion, and he sends back Dara there, just another single. It was a great pick up from the fielder. He attacked the ball hard, which meant turn, turn him for the second. Wasn't going to be an option for De Freitas, but still, Bob Riggan will be happy enough with the strike rotating as it is, Rog. Two overs remaining, game very much in the balance. 17 for, runs For a grandstand, 12 balls. Balbriggan 111 for four. It really has been a tight game throughout. It still is in the balance. This over could be very, very vital. Will they target the last but one over? Returning into the attack, the opening bowler, Jack Carty. This over is now going to be really vital. A good over here will put Balbriggan up against it. A good over for Balbriggan, and it'll be very difficult for Marion. It really is anybody's game here. And with a rather large social distance crowd here, it's great entertainment for the first match back after the COVID break. Carty taking his time, just having a few warm-ups. Ganam Dara on strike. Carty, three O's of 13, being very, very economical. Comes in now to Dara. Ball short, hits him on the pads. Big appeal for LBW, umpire Tony Wall, not impressed. And has given it as runs. Must be in a faint tickle here, which we couldn't hear at the commentary side. 16 off 11. Carty now into De Freitas. De Freitas gives himself and he's hit it straight to short extra cover. Really middled the ball, but it was aerial and went straight to the Merrion fielder. 16 now required off 10. De Freitas very disappointed after the contact that he got with that, looking to punch it onto the short boundary, but unfortunately hit it straight into the hands of the Merrion fielder. 
New to the crease now is Andrew Darosh, second season for Balbriggan. He'll be looking to bring the game home. 16 runs required off 10 balls. This really is turning into a nail biter here at Balbriggan. First wicket there for Carty, coming at a very vital time. Five wickets now down for Balbriggan. The late middle order are the ones who are actually going to have to bring the game home now. Carty into Darosh, he bowls short, Darosh punches it but doesn't get hold of it at all, I thought that was going to go on the leg side but it's a dot ball increasing the pressure now, 16 runs required off 9 balls, this is a great over here by Carty, really bringing back his team into the game. Can he finish strong here and really close out the game in this over? Long way to go still, but he's bowling incredibly well and incredibly accurately. Carty into Darosh. He bowls full and straight. Hits his straight back. There's a single and in the end, easy single there. 15 now required off eight. Getting up to two a ball now, which is always going to be difficult on this ground. So basically, boundaries will be required for Barbregan to bring this one home. Maybe the left and right hand combination can see them through. So Ganamdara facing Carty, two balls to go in the over. Really, a couple of boundaries are what Balbriggan will be looking for, but Carty is bowling very, very straight. Comes in, ball, full toss. It's gone up in the air, and he could be out. And he's caught. Failed to put that ball away. No call from the umpires from height. And he's been dismissed. 15 now off seven. Clatter of wickets here now for Balbriggan. Six down. 15 runs still required with only seven balls left. Two new batsmen at the crease. New batsman coming in, Campbell Davis Webb, again on debut. Certainly now a big ask, 15 off 7. Could the ball, the game be tipping in Merrion's way? Certainly Carty making a great chance here of becoming man of the match with, this, with his batting and this exceptional bowling. He's now taken 2 for 15 off 3.5 overs. There seems to be a little bit of confusion here. Was that last over five balls or six? Umpires Jeffrey and Wall conferring. Keepers have taken the stance. Vital part of this game. Umpire Jeffrey just conferring with Stanton. A 
and they've agreed that the last over only five balls were bowled. Umpires explaining it to the captain that there was one ball short. These things can happen in these very, very tight games. The Balbriggan now is still requiring 15 off seven balls. Certainly the tide seems to be turning for Merrion, but in T20, it's anybody's game. So Carty into Davis Webb for the last ball of the 19th over. He bowls short, Webb tries to pull it. Ball goes out onto the offside for a single. Fielded there by Joyce. 14 runs now required off the last six balls. Fourteen off six, two new batsmen at the crease, Darosh and Davis Webb. Davis Webb on strike. Tom stands in the bowler, naught for twenty eight. He comes in the ball short, punched away on the back foot. Could only be a single. They're looking for two, but no, turns down the second run. Thirteen off five. Stanton into ball short, launched, and it could be caught. Caught it is indeed by Sorensen. Another wicket for Balbriggan. 13 now required, off four. And that really, I think, has taken the game to Marion. You never know. In comes the very powerful hitting Abdul Samad. But the game definitely slightly turning in Merrion's favour. A flurry of wickets from the Balbrig and batsmen as they try to chase the target. All batsmen coming in fresh and all losing their wickets after such a great start. But you have to give credit to the Merrion bowlers who have stuck to their lines and lengths and have really taken the game to Balbriggan. 13 off four balls. Definitely boundaries are needed. Staunton bowls. That's high wide. And that's a great catch at backward point. Absolutely fantastic. Two in two. Staunton really cleaning up here. 12 required off three balls. And Staunton on a hat trick. New batsman Abdul Sattar. Star with the ball. But is it too much? Too late. Two new batsmen. Left arm bowler Staunton really exploited the conditions here, firing it in, making it very, very difficult for the Balbrig and batsmen who had just seemed to be unable to hit the clean ball. Credit to the bowler. 12 off three. That's certainly really three fours, two boundaries at least, but some big hitting there required. It's all down to double zero, Abdul Samad. That's his shirt number. Takes his time waiting for umpire Jeffrey. Twelve off three. Stanton into ball. Samad, he goes long. He's launched it. It's in the air, but it's just falling short. They're running back for two. <coughs> So that's two to Samad, 10 there required off two. That's got to be a maximum and a boundary with the long straight boundaries here and the long mid wicket. 
even with the tailing wind it's going to be very very difficult here can samad launch staunton into bowl fires it samad plays and misses and unfortunately that's going to take the game to marion 10 required off the last ball unless there's a wide here launches it straight and that's four there that is the end of the game and gives Merion victory by the small margin of five runs. Very disappointing for Balbriggan after a great comeback in the field and a great start with the bat. But the experience of Merion came through at the end that sees a very, very disappointed Balbriggan fall the slightest margins of five runs. Man of the match for me has to be Jack Carty. His impressive batting and bowling has certainly led from the front and has been the real difference between the two sides. So a well-deserved victory here for Marion at the Jack Harper. And I'd like to thank you uh, for listening. I hope you've enjoyed the commentary. And we'll see you again later on in the year. Bye now.